Hey guys, it's after midnight. I just got home from Avatar, seeing Avatar, my first concert of the year. <clears throat> and the reason why I'm flying solo is because it was a 19 and over show. So Antonio couldn't come with me, so I went by myself. But I was not going to miss Avatar in Toronto starting 2018. The main reason why is because this was their first headlining show in Toronto. They were here before, but they were part of a bigger tour and they were opening for In This Moment and Motionless and White. So this was their first time uh, as the headlining band and I was not going to miss it. I Honestly, it's, they're one of my favorite bands. I was not going to miss the show, even though I had to go alone and it's not the same thing. So, but before I get into the concert, let me tell you guys, if you guys want to see crazy pictures, videos, things that happen to us at the shows, I highly recommend you guys follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you go to the main page on YouTube, our main channel page on YouTube, under on the banner, on the right-hand side of the banner, there is a Facebook link and there is an Instagram link. Check them out. We post tons of contact as it's happening at the shows, uh, videos of songs, pictures, all sorts of crazy stuff. So if you enjoy that kind of thing and you want to get live content from what's happening at the shows, almost like a vlog, if you will, like pictures, clips, videos, all sorts of stuff, follow us on those two platforms. That's where we post all of our content. On Facebook, we actually post a video of a complete song for this concert is Let It Burn. That's a song that I recorded, the complete song. Enough of me pimping this kind of stuff out now about the concert. This concert was insane. From the moment I walked in into the venue and I see the merchandise stand, the merchandise stand looks like something out of a freak show circus. Like they did up this whole thing. It, it, it looked insane. It looked super cool. Like I really liked it. Um, it that right away set the tone for what it's going to be. Uh, everybody working for the band at the merchandise stand, at, at the sound booth, they were all dressed up the way Avatar dresses up with those you know, get-ups that they have. So that was kind of cool. Everybody was like dressed in the new colors of the new album. So they were all subjects of the King. So that was kind of cool. It was almost like you were going into a play because everybody was in, um, you know, playing their persona. So, and, and the guy at the sales booth was no different. And they had this little uh, wheel that you would spin. You'd pay $10 and you would spin this wheel. And depending on where the wheel would stop, you would win a different prize, like a sticker, a patch, drumstick, CD, poster, whatever. And it was like ten dollars for you to do that. So I, I heard that, that thing spinning quite a few times throughout the throughout the evening. They also had a jar. It was called the the uh, Bieber extermination fund jar for people to put tips in to exterminate Bieber. So that I thought that was kind of funny. I took a, a couple of pictures of those things and I posted on Instagram because I thought those those things were funny. And I don't know if they do that outside of Canada, but. In Canada, I think that's super cool, super creative for them to do, especially the Bieber Extermination Fund. I thought that was super creative, super cool. Then the show starts and it's Hell's a Poppin'. Hell's a Poppin' is not a band for those of you that don't know. They're basically a freak show. They have guys that swallow swords and and and, and uh, power drills and drill stuff up their noses and walk on glass. You know, like they have all of these different guys that come out on stage, do magic show. It was so weird. Like I've never been to a metal show or a rock show for that matter, where one of the opening acts is not a band, but it's it's like a freak show. I mean, like only Avatar would do something like this. Honestly, only Avatar would come up with something like this. I, I thought it was super creative. Believe it or not, the crowd was really into it. Everybody was really enjoying it. Everybody was moved up to the front. The place was pretty packed. Uh, if it, it wasn't a sold out, but it was pretty close. It, it was really a packed house. And I was surprised how many people were there for the opening bands. And for Hell's a Pop, people got really into it because the acts kept getting nastier and nastier, weirder and weird as, 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 their, as their set or their show went along. It kept getting crazier and crazier. Uh, so people got really into it. So that to me was, was an experience on its own because I've never seen anything like that at a metal show. And I thought that was really cool. The second band that came on, well, the first band that came on because these guys were not a band. The first band that came on, it's The Brains. And they're a band from Montreal. They're a trio from Montreal. I didn't know anything about these guys until I saw, I saw them today and I heard them play today. They play a jazzy rock kind of sound. It's really strange and it's really hard to explain. Um, but you know what? I really liked it. I absolutely like, and not because they're Canadian, not because they're from Montreal, 
uh, you know, their sound is so different. It, it's almost like if Volbeat and Cherry Poppin' Daddies had a baby, that would be these guys. Like, they have that 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 rockabilly uh, vibe and look to them, and, and they play really rockabilly rock, but with more of a jazz and a little bit heavier, more rock and roll edge to it. It's really hard to explain their style, but honestly, like the songs are really short. It's almost like punk songs. They're like two minutes, a minute and something, two and a half minutes. I don't think they played a song longer than three minutes. All the songs were really short, but the three guys, like the, the, the guitar player, lead singer has clean vocals. The, the, the bassist plays this big bass. It doesn't play your, your regular bass. It plays like, something you would see like in a jazz band or an orchestra and he has harsher vocals and the two of them kind of feed off of each other the drummer was really energetic behind the drums super energetic man it's not it's not your typical metal band that's for sure like i said they're more jazz blues with with a lot of rock influence into them i wouldn't call them a metal band i would call them a jazz rock band if you will um but super entertaining they were the crowd loved them the i i saw the, the the crowd was into it the crowd was really into it and i liked it because the songs were short compact but with very catchy chorus it was like if my first time watching these guys and, and at some point in time i was already singing along at the choruses very catchy choruses very cool tunes some really cool guitar the drummer like i said super energetic this trio from montreal is really good if you're into the heavier stuff, if you're into really heavy stuff, you're going to say, what the hell are these guys? Like, you're not going to like it. But if you have an open mind and you're willing to experiment with different styles and styles that kind of bridge different genres, then I think you're going to enjoy these guys. I, I personally, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, it's it's... It takes you into a, a different place. It takes you out of your comfort zone. And and that's not, for some people, that's not necessarily a good thing. For me, I liked it because it was completely different. It was a completely different sound, something new, something unique. I really liked it. There, then after them comes Avatar. And let me tell you, my first time seeing Avatar, I, I'm a huge fan of Avatar, but it was my first time seeing Avatar. Like I said, they've only been to Toronto twice. Um, both times was 19 and over shows and that's the main reason why I didn't go to the first one but I didn't want to miss this one because they were the headliners uh, Avatar does not disappoint they put on a great show great set um, they play about 16 songs if I'm not mistaken there's no encore they just start playing and they finish that's it no encore which I like I mean the whole encore to me it's a little bit ridiculous come on they walk off stage people start clapping and chanting and then they come back and do a couple more songs why bother with that? Just play your set. So I, I like the fact that they just play their set. Uh, the lead singer, super energetic, super fun to watch. Gets the crowd going. You know, like uh, the whole King thing. They really played off the King. They had a throne. The stage was really well done. Small venue. But they really did a good job with the stage. The drum set was really right in center. They had a they had a, uh, a stairwell that went around it and above it. Then they started with a king playing guitar uh, on a throne, uh, and that was the, that was the way the show started. Um, you know, and and then like the second song, the, the first song is an intro, which is the intro of the CD. Uh, the second song it, it starts with a king playing the guitar and and sitting down on a throne and just like ripping it up on the guitar, really great. Then let it burn. Um, if you will, would be the third song of the set, but it's really the second song of the set. And that gets the crowd going because it's a song that people are familiar with because it's, it's not from the new album. The new album doesn't come out until January 12th. So a lot of the songs that they play in the concert are from this new album. So a lot of people are not familiar with the difference. The only two that people are familiar with are the two that they've made videos for. The rest people are not really familiar with. So to a lot of us, I think to everybody there, uh, was our first uh, introduction to a lot of this new Avatar material that's coming out in their new album. But they did it very, it was very smart the way they did it. They they mixed in older songs that people knew. So it kind of carried people over uh, from song to song. Like they would play two songs from the album, they would slide in Let It Burn. They would play two more songs from the album, then they would go into 
um, the eagle has landed. And then they play two new songs from the new album. Then they go and they play Tower. Then two songs from the album. Then they went really back uh, and they played War songs. So like they 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 really paced them out uh, nicely. They they threw in a bone for the fans that have been fans for a long time and followed them for a while and know all the older stuff. And they finished the show with um, Hail the Apocalypse, which it was like perfect song to end the set i mean i think the two songs that obviously the crowd uh went more alive and the older songs because those are the songs that people know the lyrics and people really know the band and those are the songs why that drove people to the show the new songs people were more like looking and and, and the vibe wasn't as much there because it's new material like people don't even have the album uh so it's it's understandable that that would be the reaction but the show was amazing the vocals amazing sound amazing like i mean there's nothing bad about avatar's performance uh tonight uh i i have to say i really enjoyed the set i don't think i would necessarily add or retract any song i think the way they paced out the songs mixing old ones with new ones i thought it was perfect the the way they carried the songs one over to another the as one ended the intro to the other one was sometimes perfect it's like it was like they were made to be together that way um the songs that were not perfect in that manner the lead singer would come in and give you an intro to the song which which made it perfect because he would talk to the audience and get the audience going so i i really enjoyed it i, I gotta say I've, I've seen a lot of bands i've seen a lot of concerts these guys put on one of the best live performances ever regardless of how you feel about the videos that you that you've watched of avatar or how much you know about avatar to me, after watching them live today, I have to say, Avatar is a band that you have to see live. The records, the videos do not do justice to what this band is live. This band is, in my opinion, a live band. This is a band that you only get the full essence of Avatar if you watch them live. Because, for example, the Statue of the King, or The King Wants You, which was two videos that came out for two songs of the new album, they didn't sound as heavy on the videos as they did live. Those songs live were a lot heavier than they were in the videos. To me, the whole production, the whole stage production, the, the makeup, the, the way they carry themselves on stage, they have this... Avatar has this aura about themselves. It's like the whole, the whole stage, the whole time they're on stage, it's not just about performing the songs, it's about performing almost like... Uh, it's like almost like an opera because they're almost acting... In, in terms of, of the story that they're telling you, and then they have the songs to go with it. In a lot of ways, it reminds me, I know they're not black metal, but in a lot of ways, they remind me of Karak Angry because of that same stage performance. And then the music is an addition to that stage performance. So I feel like these guys have a lot in common with, with Karak Angry and from that perspective, not the style of the music, but from, from a stage perspective. But I really think for all of you guys out there, if Avatar comes to a town nearby or comes to your town, you should, you should really go see them because they're a live band, and they're one of the best bands live that I have seen. I mean, th this is setting the bar like really high, as far as I'm concerned, as the first concert of the year for, for me. And it's going to be really hard for bands to surpass these guys, because they really put on a, an incredible, incredible live show. They really had the crowd on their hands, doing what they wanted, when they wanted. And that's what you really want. You want the whole full experience. And then the show ends. They all come. They all bow. And then as you're leaving, the, 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 the merch guy is selling, the, the merch guy and the guys from Hells of Popper are selling balloons with the faces of, of, of the members of Avatar. Like, I thought that was so, once again, it's so circus, so freak show. But at the same time, that is the essence of Avatar. Freak show, circus, makeup, uh, getting in character. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, what a show. Had a blast. Had a blast. If you guys have any questions about Avatar, about the brains, about Hell's a Poppin', about the show, let me know in the comment section below. You know, you, you guys know I'm pretty good at answering any comments that you guys have. So if you have any questions about Avatar, about the show, the bands, whatever, let me know in the comment section below and I will get back to you. And at the show, one last thing before I go, at the show, I purchased their new album. So I'll be doing an album review either tomorrow or Wednesday, but there's going to be an album review. I want to do it. The album comes out January 12th, like I mentioned, but I already have the album because they're selling them on this tour. Today was the second stop of the tour. 
um, today, well, actually Sunday was the second stop of the tour because today is already Monday. Monday, they're going to be in Montreal. So the third stop of the tour. So they're selling the album uh, on their tour. It doesn't come out to the public until the 12th. I have it already because I attended the show and I bought it. So I'll be doing an album review either, either Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not sure. Most likely it will be Tuesday. So if you're a big fan of Avatar, check that out. If you're not, get on board. These guys are the real deal. Take care, guys.